but I do need a more thoughtful approach across the court as to how we sanction gun offenders when gun violence is the number one problem in this city, and it's a deadly problem. Today on Live at 4, Milwaukee's police chief addressing the violence that took place this holiday weekend. Four people were killed and 15 others injured in shootings across Milwaukee, as you can see behind us. Yes, Chief Ed Flynn says arresting the offender isn't enough and more needs to be done to stop this cycle of violence. Ricky Mitchell joining us live near downtown with more on the chief's remarks. Well, the police chief said today that there is a common theme emerging from all of this weekend's shootings of all of the known suspects involved. He said all but one had prior arrest records. Many of them had prior weapons charges and all and almost all of the victims were also known to police. People are placing themselves in harm's way once they choose a life of crime. Milwaukee Police Chief Ed Flynn says many of this weekend's shootings involved the same circumstances he says have plagued the city for years. Folks out there with a sense of criminal records don't rely on the criminal justice system to resolve their issues. They rely on their gun, and that's uh, something we've got to figure out a better way to sanction. Police responded to 15 separate locations over the four-day holiday weekend. Four people were killed, more than a dozen others injured, including two children. So far this year, more than 200 people have been shot in the city and 40 people killed, the majority by gun violence. But Flynn says the violence is concentrated to certain areas of the city. I get accused of blaming victims sometimes. Well, I'm not blaming anybody. I'm describing a social phenomenon which is afflicting this city, all right, which is a large number of individuals with significant criminal records with unfettered access to firearms shooting each other and shooting innocent third parties. And he says arrests alone aren't enough. It's part of a criminal community that is operating with a more than a little impunity right now, despite the fact, as I say, that among them, we've got 150 arrests. We're, we are arresting them uh, a lot. We're where we're supposed to be. Now, out of the homicides that took place this weekend, police have made arrests in all four cases. Those are now being referred to the district attorney for possible charges. We will have more on what Police Chief Flynn thinks needs to be done to address this violent, violent crime problem that is coming up tonight at 5. For now, we're reporting live near downtown. Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4. All right, Ricky, thanks.